All right, guys, we're going to go over a free app that's available for everyone to download. It's called Free42. If you go on to a Google uh, Store, Google Play Store, whatever you call it, you'll be able to download it. And it's basically the equivalent of having a HP42S calculator on your phone. Now, the reason why it's so exciting to me is because... Um, one of our technicians developed all the programs for this uh, calculator and he did it in the early 90s his name was Frank Asos a very uh, good friend of mine and uh, highly respect the guy he developed a bunch of programs for technicians and engineers to be able to use them in the field use, the cal use these calculators in the field to be able to quantify such things as the volume or volumes of a pit tank or the um, flows through a pipe um, whether it be uh, PVC or steel or a corrugated pipe and the flow through weirs a bunch of different programs so he developed it and he developed all those programs based off the uh, National Engineering Handbook's equations, and so they're all um, very technical programs based off very technical equations. I'm going to go over a couple of them right now that I use a lot. So you can't see my fingers right now, and I don't think you can even see where I'm touching. Um, but this will be what you'll see on your screen once you download the Free42 app. So right now I'm clicking the orange button on the bottom left hand corner and then I'm clicking solver and you can see that I have um, all these programs already downloaded on my uh, phone you got the area program the application rate program the vault the um, uh, friction loss through valves program the friction loss through pipe program the weir program the trapezoidal flow program and then I'm going to click the down arrow and there's more there's the orifice flow program through a rectangular orifice the orifice flow through a just a regular orifice circular uh, the pipe flow program just the this the Q equals VA program acre foot program that one allows you to go from acre feet to volume um, the tank program that allows you to go from you input the um, diameter of your, of your tank and the the height of your tank and it'll give you the volume and then you can you can also have the uh, horsepower program the rock and brush program the irrigation program um, the pit tank program the area pro tank, uh, program and the case of P program so the, some of some of those were actually um, additional to what Frank did in the early 90s so I'm going to use the ones that I use all the time we're going to go to pit tank so if you just click uh, like you said like I said you can't see my finger right now but I'm clicking pit and when you click that you you have a bunch of variables as per spec our pit tanks have to be a minimum of 12 feet so right now I'm clicking uh, 12 and I'm and then after you click 12 you, you hit the variable that pertains to that value so D, the minimum bottom width we require on our pit tanks is 200 square feet. So the length is going to be 20, and the width is going to be 10. And we're just going to make up the side slopes. The side slopes are going to be, we're going to say 2 to 1, so we're just going to click a 2, and 2S1, two 2S2. Two and then we're going to say that um, on the end slope, uh, on this pit tank, we're going to accommodate wildlife. We're supposed to have a minimum of 4 to 1 as per spec. So we're going to click 4, click E1. And then uh, if we're going to have a, a slope on the other end of 3 to 1, 3, E2. And then I'm going to click the down arrow, and that will show us all the other arrows. I want to solve for volume, so I just click volume. So this particular pond, it the total volume will be 1,086 cubic yards of, of material that will have to be excavated to be able to build this pond. So to show you how 
powerful this program is if you were simply just to change the let's just say that you hit rock at about six feet well no longer can the pond be 12 feet so let's just change uh, the, the depth to six so click six depth and then click volume the volume of your pond went from 1086 to 219 cubic yards so that's how powerful this program is you can just change one variable and it'll change everything so let's go to a different program I use all the time we're going to click the orange button and solver and we're going to go to irrigation this is for irrigation um, designing irrigation pipeline that's what I use all the time um, you can see all the variables you got CFS acres consumptive use farm delivery efficiency or farm efficiency delivery efficiency hours and days all this is from the irrigation guide so let's say that we have uh, 10, 10 acres and so you click you, you type 10 and then click the little um, black button that says acres and let's say that we're going to be irrigating um, alfalfa and the consumptive use is 0.29 inches per day so you're going to put 0.29 and then click consumptive use and that gets into the variable and then farm delivery farm efficiency is going to be 0.5 we're going to be doing flood irrigation so we're going to do 0.5 farm efficiency we're going to be delivering to that field um, via a pipe so it's going to be 0.95 I'm going to put 0.95 delivery efficiency efficiency the hours in some places it'll, it'll be different some places they'll require an hour per acre um, a, a half an hour per acre two hours per acre um, I have found that two hours per acre gives you a um, good planning number so I'll, just for this purpose I'm going to do hours just remember that the hours is based off um, how many hours per acre so if it's two hours per acre which I'm going to use uh, and I have 10 acres it's going to be 20 hours so I'm going to put 20 and finally typically in my area you're going to have a 14 day irrigation interval so I'm just going to put 14 days and now I'll, after I have all those variables, variables inputted I'm going to click CFS and using all those variables I have to have 4.2 CFS to irrigate two hours per acre um, using a pipe 95 percent efficient pipe a flood irrigating a farm 50 percent efficient farm it's based off flood irrigating and alfalfa I'm gonna need 4.27 so I'm gonna basically need a 15 inch pipe so that's the second program I use a lot and what's the amazing thing about this is that you can just quickly change things let's just say that you're using uh, that you're going to be irrigating a uh, pasture grass instead of um, alfalfa and let's say the consumptive use instead of 0.29 is 0.23 so you put 0.23 consumptive use and then solve for CFS it went from being 4. Point, I think it was 4.2 to being 3.3 so that's how powerful the program is I'll show you one more program and then um, I'll create more videos in the future if you click the orange button and solver um, let's go to orifice flow if you need to calculate orifice flow let's just say that you want to calculate the amount of flow going through an orifice um, with a, sh a sharp the, the, well so first of all let's go through the um, um, variables the coefficient um, is basically the coefficient for a sharp um, orifice or for a protruding orifice or for whatever orifice you have you have to use the um, coefficient that coincides with what you're using typically it'll be 0.6 so we're gonna put 0.6 C and we're gonna say that we have an orifice diameter of 12 inches so we're just going to put one two diameter and we're going to say that the height above the orifice on this one you're supposed to go um, we're, we're going to say that we have um, half a foot above the orifice so we're going to put uh, 0.5 height 
and now we'll be able to figure out how much flow we can get through that orifice. We'll be able to get 2.67 CFS based off a coefficient for the orifice, orifice of 0.6. That's for a sharp uh, edged orifice, a 12 inch diameter pipe, and then having half a foot of diameter uh, or half a foot of, of head above the, the uh, middle of that orifice, get that Q. Now let's just say that you have a, a foot instead of one, a 0.5, you have a foot, so you just quickly just put one H and the Q is 3.7 CFS. So once again, I'll create a video for each one of these programs and then you